Hi, I'm Kathy Smith. Congratulations on making a choice that promises to be a new and exciting adventure. Now let's walk it out on the beat. Today we're going to build to a nice steady state pace. Then I'll gradually cool you down at the end of the 30 minute workout. Step it out to the music. We're warming up now and working out all those kinks and remembering that getting started is always the hardest, isn't it? Let your body find that rhythm and march it out to the music. Feeling so fine. This is the time to loosen your shoulders and expand your breathing. I want you to gently lift your arms over your head and take a deep breath in. Lots of oxygen and positive energy. Now exhale and let your arms fall to your side. Let's repeat it. Arms go up, big inhale, fill the chest, fill the rib cage, and now exhale. And begin swinging those arms naturally at your side. Okay, let's get into the proper walking technique. Here are the essentials. First of all, stand tall. Imagine a string coming from the top of your head, pulling you up like a puppet. Then tilt your body forward slightly from the ankles, not from the hips or waist. And to keep from arching your back, keep your abdominals tight. Your head should be erect with your eyes focused forward and your shoulders should be down and back, opening your chest for easier, deeper breathing. Walk tall, walk proud. Again, eyes forward, shoulders back, abdominals in. I'll be reminding you of these cues throughout your walk, and I want you to make the adjustments as we go along. If it hasn't already happened, this posture is going to become second nature to you. Let your arms swing freely, but with purpose. Don't fling your arms, stay in control. Right now, they should swing forward, not across your body. This way, your arm swing will actually improve your balance, increase circulation, and help you burn more calories, and we all want that. Strike the ground with your heel and let your foot roll forward naturally. Use a stride length that's comfortable for you and don't overstride. Keep your arms opposite of your step, right foot forward, left arm forward. Alternate sides. Okay, you're right on track. Keep those eyes forward, shoulders back, abdominals in. Your arms are swinging naturally with purpose and you're striking the ground with your heel and rolling forward. As you adapt to this new level of movement, your heart rate will increase as we increase the beats per minute. So keep stepping it out on the beat as you get more familiar with the music. You may notice your breathing getting faster. That's normal as long as you don't get breathless. If you do, I want you to slow it down. Any aerobic workout is going to increase your body's demand for oxygen, which means you're going to breathe deeper and faster. I want you to set everything aside for a moment. That's right, just put it aside in your mind. When you do this, you'll make a space for other things in your life to show up. Good things like having fun, enjoying yourself, and spending time on something that's important to you, like walking. I promise you, your list will be there when you're done. So let's go for it right now and focus your energy on you and your walking. Okay, continue stepping out as we pick up the pace ever so slightly. Take a minute to get your shoulders relaxed. If you're holding tension in your shoulders, the workout's going to be very uncomfortable. So get in the habit of starting your walks with rolling your shoulders up, back, down, and around. Let's try it again. Up, back, down, and around. Okay, shake them out. Walk it out.
sometimes I like to literally shake my arms down by my side and let any bit of excess tension flow right out my fingertips. Just shake it out. Okay, here's another trick. If you carry tension in your jaw, which I do, drop your jaw right now and move it from side to side. That's it. No, people won't think you're crazy. Let go, let go of all the tension in your jaw. Let it go, that's it. Okay, shake off that last bit of tension now. Okay, here's another tip. I always like to stretch after I walk for a few minutes, so this is a great time to pause the CD and refer to the stretches in the CD insert. Remember, it's always better to stretch when your muscles are warm. As the tempo increases, I want you to start pumping your arms, keeping your elbows bent at a 90 degree angle, and swinging them close to your sides. Now you don't have to over exaggerate this motion, but your arm swing will help you keep up with the beat of the music. Try not to tense your arms, relax your hands so you don't have a tight fist. Pump them, but keep them relaxed. If your arms do get tired at any point today, shake them out for a moment and then get back into the groove. Keep stepping out, checking your posture, head level, eyes forward, shoulders back and relaxed, and your arms pumping with purpose. Okay, you're right on track. Forward and upward, that's my motto. Okay, stay with the beat of the music. The pace is picking up again a little bit. If you keep at the pace of the music, you're going at the right speed. Okay, you're 10 minutes into the workout and you're doing great. Eyes straight ahead, 
shoulders back and relaxed, and abdominals in. in that stride, come on. Remember, keep up the pace with the arms. Arms and legs striding it out, beat for beat. Here we go. As these next songs get a little faster, your arm swing is critical to keeping your legs moving with the beat. No need to over-exaggerate, but work on your 90 degree angle at the elbows, pumping you faster as the beat increases. Remember, the faster the arms pump, the faster the legs go. And the faster you go, the more calories you burn, and you know what that means. You're gonna have the body you want and reach the goal you've set faster. So pump those arms. This is also the time to monitor your workout intensity. You should be working at a comfortable, steady pace at which you can carry on a conversation. So let's check your perceived exertion level. During this workout, I want you to stay between a four, which is a moderate intensity, and a five, which is working somewhat hard. So make sure you're monitoring yourself now by referring to the perceived exertion level chart in your CD insert. Let's go for it now, pump it out. Heel toe push, heel toe push, 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 push. Keep with the beat. Heel toe push, heel toe push, heel toe push. Got it, go. Pump those arms. Okay, as you start to go faster, keep those shoulders relaxed. Okay, we're at the halfway point in the workout. And now we're gonna pick up the pace, so here we go.
Okay, we're picking it up, so push it out. Keep up with the pace. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep with the beat. Remember your foundation and don't compromise your form over speed. Let the muscles in the legs, buttocks, and arms do the work while your mind becomes more and more relaxed and you become focused on your workout. If you're breaking a sweat right now, it's probably a good time to remind you that water and workouts go hand in hand, so stay hydrated. That's it, let me hear you working hard. Eyes are forward, shoulders back, keep those arms pumping. Great form. The most important thing when we start walking faster is to stay focused. Stay focused so that you can keep up your speed. If you focus on the beat, the beat will keep your speed up. Focus on the simplicity of walking, just putting that one foot in front of the other. Step, 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 step. Let the music move you. Think about propelling yourself forward. Find a point down the block, wherever you're walking, and walk right toward that point. Focus on it, and think about getting there as quickly as you can.
Don't think about the finish line. Just think about how fabulous you feel right now. Look at your surroundings and take it all in and just keep on the beat. Step, 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 go, go, go. Thinking about all the steps you're taking to get you closer to that goal. You're doing it and you should feel great about yourself. You're entering the home stretch. We're easing up on the pace and pulling back on the intensity. So ease into the beat of this song. And notice again your posture, your stride, and your body alignment. So get those shoulders back, that chest out, and as I said before, put some pride in your stride. Walk it out. Okay, let's cool it down.
inhale and exhale. Exhale all the tension away from your shoulders, your chest, and your neck. That's good. Let's inhale again. And exhale. And don't forget a big glass of water right now after your workout and throughout the day. Before you pack it in today, make sure to stretch out and relax. You deserve it. Until next time.